Welcome to Teen YPWW Lesson 9. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's topic is the power source of fasting and praying. Part 2. The lesson text is coming out of Matthew chapter 6 verses 16 through 20 and Daniel chapter 4 verses 13 through 17. The memory verse is Matthew chapter 6 verse 16. I will read the King James Version first and then the New International Version. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. The New International Version When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. The key for today's lesson, fasting, the do's and don'ts. The focus for today's lesson, fasting, a targeted driven discipline. Let's review some fundamental basics of the discipline of fasting. Beginners are encouraged to start slowly. You can fast for just one meal a day or one day a week. As you learn more about fasting, you will build up your spiritual muscles and fast for longer periods of time as the Lord prompts your heart to do so. As you increase your days for fasting, proceed with caution. Remember, as discussed in our last lesson, it's important for you to have medical approval before you fast. For some teens, these fasting lessons may seem elementary in their presentation, especially if there are veteran fasters in your family. I, as well as many of the saints I know, have gone on extended fasts for several days at one time. This is great, for I know firsthand that fasting is indeed a worthy discipline. On the other hand, I know that this discussion on fasting may be a new concept for some of our teen listeners. Wherever you fit in this pendulum of knowledge about fasting, the challenge for all of us today is to ensure that fasting is and continues to be a part of our Christian experience. Our memory verse gives us another directive to follow while fasting. The first don't of our lesson, Jesus says on your fast days, don't look sad and mad. Do not put on a big production to bring attention to yourself. If you do this to gain attention, that will be the only award you will get for your fasting efforts. People feeling sad for you. Another important point about fasting is your motive for fasting. It is okay to have a goal or target for your fasting efforts. As you pray and seek real-time counseling with your Christian leaders, God will make sure that you gain clarity and understanding about this powerful Christian discipline. When done properly, fasting will prove to be a spiritual blessing in your life and in the life of others. In our scripture lesson today, we learn about the prophet Daniel and his 21-day fast. God gives Daniel dreams and vision throughout his life about the destiny of God's people, the government, and the economy of his times. And in the future, some of the dreams were so powerful and visually dynamic that Daniel would get sick and faint afterward. He loved God's people so much and wanted to be able to share the correct interpretation of these dreams with them. Therefore, he prayed accordingly. The dream of our lesson today inspires him to go on a 20-day fast, 21-day fast, to ensure his understanding of its meaning. It is important to note that this fast was not an absolute fast without any liquids or food. The Daniel fast, which is still popular today, was one where he ate plain food, fruits, vegetables, and water. He had no meat or wine during these 21 days. It is a good thing and a God thing to fast. Our hope is that you teen listeners embrace this discipline with all your might. Fasting can transform your prayer life into a richer and more personal experience. Fasting can result in a dynamic personal revival in your own life and make you a channel of revival to others. When making a decision about what type of fast is right for you, be led by the Holy Spirit for the type of fast and the length of your fast. Also talk with your parents, pastor and or youth leaders. 
Here's a listing of the types of fasts that are practiced by most religious groups today. Research by asking others or Google these names, the name fast, and complete their descriptions. It can be an absolute fast, water fast, water and juice fast, or a Daniel fast. The questions for today's lesson. Number one, the Daniel fast has maintained its popularity popularity today in the 21st century. Why do you think this is true? And number two, Satan wars against believers who set their hearts to seek God through prayer and fasting. What strategies can we use to help us to be successful when we fast and pray? All fasts should be achieved with precaution and with regard to medical awareness. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.